I feel like you hate women or something. Like, what are the, what's up with these questions? Well, why would you assume that I hate women just because I'm questioning them? But these questions, you say are something like, why are women scary. something, blah, blah, blah. But why do women think this? Why do women think that? What so we can't ask questions anymore without people thinking we hate women? That's crazy! Is it possible to question women without being labeled a, a woman hater? Is it possible to ask questions without being labeled a sexist? Um, it's the way you ask them, I feel like. Am I not asking? Well, how should I be asking? Why them? didn't you ask them, like, like hey, so. Why do men think this about women? Exactly, but you're asking it from your point of view. Women, I said women, 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 women. It's never, why do men do this? And it's always the same type of girls that be acting like this. The long eyelashes and the chubbier looking girls, bro. You can tell they got a lot of insecurities on their own part. Are you trying to hook, are you trying to hook up? With you? Yeah. I don't even know if you're cool. Huh? I don't even know if you're cool or not. I'm cool. You just be doing interviews and That does not mean you're cool. You could be crazy as or weird. I don't know. I don't even know you like that. What, what was my name? What was my name? I don't even know. Aren't you Israel? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Whatever your name is. Thalia. What? Thalia. Ophelia? Thalia. Oh, Sydney. No. T H A Y L I A. Tiffany? Thalia. Oh, failure. Like failure? No, Thalia. You want to make out? No. Okay. Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. That's what we called a shit test right there. She was trying to play hard to get. She knows she wanted some pee pee, bro. She wanted my guy. When he was willing to leave her and walk away, she was like, maybe later. I will kiss you. Maybe later. No, Thalia. You want to make out? No. Okay. Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. She wanted my guy, but she was just trying to play the hard long game, man. She was trying to make it seem like she's not like all these other girls that just want to fuck. Boom, my God! Yo, what is good, y'all? Zia here. And I'm back again with another one. Yes, sir. The shirts are in. So go in the description and copy one of these shirts, man. It's lit. All right, guys. You see the title of this video, but before we get into it, make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram, man. We're posting content over there as well. It's lit, and you guys can also DM me. I try to respond as often as I can. And please hit that like button, man, and help your boy out. We gotta get these videos out so I can reach 500K subscribers, man. Help a Jamaican boy realize his dreams of being an entertainer. Let's get into the video. Hey, hey, who wants to make out with me? You got my leg Gotcha. She grabbed his head so aggressively, she was ready to put all her heart into that kiss. And she just looked at him like, what? You gonna reject the kiss from me? She, I would've rejected it too. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. Unsolicited dick pics ever attracted a woman? No. So why do so many men continue that toxic behavior when it pretty much never works? I would like to know the same question. Men catcalling us, like I feel like I've literally been here for like five minutes and like already like four people have like come up to me and just like, you know? And you're not even dressed that provocatively and stuff, right? Literally, like, what? I literally just got off of a plane. Like, what? I had a mask on and some guy came up to me and he's like, you're so beautiful. Like, you can't even see me. What? And when man, guys will do anything to get some vagina, bro. I want some motherfucking pussy, man. God damn. Can a nigga get some pussy? Please? Pretty please? Pretty, 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 pretty. Has catcalling or sending unsolicited dick pics ever attracted a woman? No, never, what? ever. Hate that. What would you like me to ask men? Um, why do men think that they are the shit? Why do why men do think, think that they have to uh, take money or why do men think, think that women have to do cooking, cleaning, all that stuff and all they do is go to work? Stuff. Why? Why? Hey, bro, stay away from girls like these, bro. They will ruin your life, man. Women have to do cooking, cleaning, all that stuff and all they do is go to work. Why? Why? She said, why do women have to cook and clean when all men do is go to work? That just shows you they have no, like, they don't value men at all. And they're not willing to understand men at all. We go to work, we fight out there to get this money, to pay your bills, to keep our house, pay for your car, and buy all the groceries so you can cook. I'm busting my ass out there. I can't come home to a little meal? You gotta have an issue with that? I'm out there grinding. I need you to hold me down. When is it okay to cheat? Uh, I would say, I, say so? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Never. If I, if I, you would have to get permission, obviously. Well, that's not. Then that's cheating. That doesn't really make sense. That's true. Stupid. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said to me. It's okay. Though. Thanks. I'm not trying. Well, this is gonna be on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> Can you scratch that? Can you? That was a 
He kept it straight, man. He kept it straight up with her. I respect that. Because it's not cheating if you know about it. Cheating is literally betrayal. Genuine moment right there. Okay, what is going on right here? Oh, this is this is harassment right here. She pinning him down. She holding him back. He trying to leave, but she said, hell no, nah, you ain't leaving, B. Where you think you're going, big boy? Yeah, put your ass back against that wall. Yeah, I run this shit. <laughs> That does not look pretty at all, bro. If my girl does this on a constant basis, I would have been left, bro. This is how I picture this conversation going. Hey, I'm talking to you. Close that fucking book. I am talking to you. Why didn't you bring anything out for me to eat? I know I said I didn't want nothing, but you should be able to read my mind. Read my mind. If your girl's arguing with you like that in public, zero respect, bro. You're just embarrassing me and embarrassing yourself and embarrassing both of us. You have no respect. When it gets to that point, you gotta let them go, bro. I said you gotta let them go. I don't know you. You think I'm gonna let a stranger take my shit? I don't know why girls think they could just come up to you and just take your shit. <laughs> There's no way Branty did this thinking we were gonna hype her up. So the woman you see there trying to jump on the musician Bad Bunny at his concert is actually a married woman. She's a social media influencer. She's married with kids. So what the fuck is she doing? Yeah, man, she got kids and a husband and on stage doing this bullshit, embarrassing the whole family. I only got one thing to say. She is property of the streets. <laughs> And man, it's always so funny how mad they get when a guy curves the kiss, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I feel like if they had a knife in their hand, they would just stab him in the heat of the moment just because he curved the kiss. Sensational. You really want to make out? You can if you want to. No. You about it? How to kiss? Baby, I know how to do everything. You know how to kiss? Let's go. Gotcha. She was ready for that too. You see how she she closed her eyes, was ready to get into it. She was ready to be all sensual. And he's like, skirt, you pop her to these streets. I don't be kissing the streets, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Run. Why is she so aggressive? That's crazy. What is she a track star? <laughs> Man, my guy ran like Usain Bolt after her. Like, you ain't getting in that club on my watch. Not on my watch today, B. Nah, no, that's crazy. Turn ons and turn off. Big feet. Can't stand big feet. What's, what? what's big? What's, what's big? big over, over a five and a half. I'm a seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. But have you guys ever noticed like when girl when girls take pictures in heels, their feet be looking big as hell compared to their body? Is that just me? Because every time I look at a pic with a girl in heels compared to her body, their feet be looking huge. <laughs> they be looking huge. Nah, she gonna set me up, man. She gonna. She gonna claim sexual harassment trying to get me locked up. Fuck no. Bro, just imagine, bro. Imagine somebody wifing her up. She used to be that one white girl that would hover around trying to get all the niggas. And you cuffed her up. <laughs> you, my friend, might as well be married to the streets because she's property of the streets. I've never been used to this many eyes and this many voices. And it 
it got to him a little bit recently. All right, so a little background on this. So if y'all didn't know, Mia Khalifa, the porn star, she did porn for like three months and she quit, but she made a fortune. So she got married, right? And then her husband ended up divorcing her. He couldn't take the backlash and he could not take people sending him videos of his wife getting dug out by some BBC. It's been a little hard for him to reconcile my past and that has caused some issues in the relationship. Him is when he posts about me, the backlash is, is pretty bad and he has, he has trouble dealing with that. But at the same time, I don't feel supported when he just remains silent on a lot of things. I think Mia Khalifa came to terms with her past. There has never been a single man that I have wanted that I have not gotten because men... <laughs> But the guy that proposed to her, he should have known what it was. He should have took some responsibility. How are you going to cuff up a former porn star and not expect all this bullshit to happen? Why propose to her in the first place if you weren't willing to deal with what comes with being married to a porn star? All right, y'all. And with that said, that is the end of the video, man. Make sure you check out the merch store and the link, link in the description. Copy one of these t-shirts, man. All right, I'll see you on the next one, man.